Okay, listen up everyone. If you're looking for a fully renovated four-room flat that is minutes walk to MRT, large kitchen, large living dining room area, I think this is the one for you. Let's go take a look. So welcome to the unit. This unit is 980 square feet. It's a four-room configuration. As you walk around the house later on, you'll start to see the design intent of the owners, right? They are using more of earth tones and wooden elements to bring up the warm and cozy feel of the house while having splashes of dark blue to really accentuate certain areas of the house. And in the case of the living room area, is this painting right here, uh, but this painting is not for sale. Uh, moving into the main living room area here, you can see that what I really like about the layout is this squarish layout over here, which means that it is very easy to configure and move around the furniture to fit your needs over time. Now, in terms of wall-to-wall -wall distance here, it's a very generous wall-to-wall -wall distance. So if you want to shift this sofa all the way back to create more living room area, you can even fit like a 75-inch or bigger TV on the wall without it looking too big in front of your face. Now talking about the TV console area, instead of the usual you know, uh, fixed to the ground kind of TV console that you see in most HDB nowadays, they have opted for this shelf, this wooden shelf here. Not only adds on to the minimalistic look of the entire TV feature wall area, it allows it to have storage on top of the shelf as well as below. So you can put your sound systems here, you can put your uh, game consoles here, they put a printer there as well. So it adds on to the functionality of a TV console. Uh, and also, what I really like about this TV feature wall is the screen look-alike wall at the back here that adds on to the minimalistic look again, but allows it to have bigger TV sizes without sacrificing on the overall look of the entire feature wall. The owners have also made use this space to make it into like a personal gallery. Other than the painting you saw earlier on, this wall actually houses their personal collection of 3D printed tiles. So in the future, if you really want to be able to design your own space as well, this wall is perfect. Now with everything going on in the living room area, all this space that you're taking up already, it's amazing how they can still fit a six to seven seater in this dining room area. And with this dining table here, along with the wooden elements that are surrounding the dining room area, it gives us a really cozy cafe vibe in the dining room area so that you feel good when you're having your meals here. Now this is the dining room and the living room area. Let's go and take a look at the rooms. Now before I move into the common rooms area, what you will notice is that the corridor space here is very small, which makes it a very efficient kind of layout because corridor space is wasted space. Now moving into the common rooms, both common rooms are the same size and only one of the common bedrooms has a built-in wardrobe which means that this can easily allow for any renovations that you want to do without incurring expensive hacking costs. Right now, the rooms are either used as guest rooms or they are work from home office uh, and some level of storage. But if you do convert them into bedrooms, both can comfortably fit a wardrobe, queen or king sized beds, bedside tables and still have some space for a small dresser or a small table. And one of the reasons why I can fit all this stuff in here is because the wardrobe space is actually flush to the wall. There's a recessed space here, inside here, so that you can fit the entire wardrobe inside and have a deep enough wardrobe space. And here in the master bedroom area, you can see that there's already a built-in wardrobe for you. And even with that built-in, you still have more than enough space to fit their queen-size bed, their baby's bed here, and a bedside dresser over here. Uh, so this is definitely a spacious master bedroom area. And of course, you'll have your master bathroom area that's fully done up, fully renovated, even comes complete with a rain shower. And to my right here is the storage room area. I won't open it, it's a little bit messy. But if you're wondering where the kitchen is, here you go. So this kind of kitchen space is not what you'll get in HDBs nowadays. It's a very large format size kitchen. And as you can see, the owners have already done up the full renovations for this place as well, following the design theme of the entire house. So you can see wooden elements, earth tones, and also splashes of blue as well. They have even changed the floor tiles here to have large format floor tiles, and it's dark themed as well, so that it's easier to maintain over time. Now in terms of the wall, you have your herringbone design tiles here as well as the backsplash here. It's a really, really nice design. I really like it. 
and also you have your countertop space already built up with top and bottom cabinetries all with soft closing cooker hood and hob and three gas stoves with oven as well and even with all this built in you still have a lot of counter space uh, ready for you to do your food prep so this is the good thing about having a large format kitchen size now on my left here this is a separate island countertop that they have built and this countertop has the same material tabletop as your, uh, your other countertops here and it has a space to put your washer and your dryer so this is perfect if you want to use it to like then put stuff here you want to use it as an extra food prep place or laundry folding area this is very very flexible best thing about it is it's not fixed to the ground so you can actually move it to whatever area you like if you don't like it in this position now moving into the yard area like i mentioned earlier on this has the sink over here and also to my left a second toilet for you again fully renovated with rain shower and also they have built a ceiling fan in the kitchen so it ventilates the entire kitchen and gives it a more cooling feel when you're actually cooking in the kitchen so that's the kitchen area i'm sure you're curious about the location let's go take a look so this unit is three minutes walk to chinese garden mrt along the east west line which is a straight line down to the cbd area now one stop away is jurong east mrt which is an interchange to the north south line and this is also where you can find many amenities and an abundance of malls including jam westgate imm to name a few within minutes walk is also toguan mrt station which is along the future jurong region line this line is slated to complete by 2029 and will connect and serve residents of Chachukang, Boon Lay and the future developments in the Tengah area and connect main activity nodes in Jurong West such as NTU, Jurong Industrial Estate, so on and so forth. The line will be fully overground, so in terms of public transport, this location is very well connected. We are also right at the Jurong Lake District where it is currently undergoing massive transformation to become the next largest business district and also an integrated tourism development which will be a world-class lifestyle destination comprising attractions, hotel, retail, F&B and other leisure offerings. For immediate amenities in the area, not only do you have various coffee shops around the cluster, you also have Yuhua Village Market and Food Centre within walking distance. As for recreation, the huge amount of activities and facilities in Jurong Lake Gardens should suffice for you and your family. Now for primary schools within 1km distance, you have Fuhua Primary School, Jurong Primary School, Princess Elizabeth Primary School and Yuhua Primary School. So if you're interested to view this beautiful unit, give us a call, drop us a DM and we'll arrange a viewing for you immediately. This is Louis from Look Prop and I'll see you in the next home tour. Bye!